welcome back everyone this is case number 15 of msk series our case today is 10 year old boy presenting with left knee joint pain for two months duration so this is the anteroposterior radiograph of the left knee joint in a skeletally immature patient so the obvious abnormality is this region so it's a well-defined rounded lytic lesion mainly in the epiphysis pieces involving the physis or the growth plate and distal metaphysis so it has a sclerotic margin no expansion of the bone and the cortex is intact no endosteal scalloping or cortical breach articular surface is normal knee joint is normal and it has narrow zone of transition no soft tissue component in this region no periosteal reactions no pathological fractures and you can't see any synchronous lesions so all the features suggest that it's a benign lesion so the diagnosis of this lesion is chondroblastoma so the differential diagnosis uh, one if, if there's a history of fever trauma then you have to think of brody abscess all patient secondary to osteoarthritis geode formation and another one is intraosseous ganglion cyst Process ganglion cyst. Those are the three main diagnoses of this uh, lesion. So the chondroblastomas usually occur in first and second decade of life in children. It's a epiphyseal lesion, and uh, there's a chance of matrix calcification. in 50% of patients here you can't see definite uh, matrix calcifications and so those are the few cardinal features of chondroblastomas they can occur in proximal humerus proximal femur in the male in the epiphysis and sometimes in the around the knee joint calcaneus talus those are the possible sites of chondroblastomas so that concludes the case number 15 of our msk series so please subscribe to our youtube channel then you will get notifications about our videos be feel to comment on our videos thank you very much